Good morning everyone, welcome to Vanuary Day 18. I've been up for a couple of hours, I got two hours of work done and we've had breakfast, the dogs have been all sorted out. Oh, Quentin's coming out. And we are about to head off into the town to get a coffee, have a little break, see what the town's like. It definitely feels warmer here. It's been raining all morning and I think we've got a lot of rain expected today, but it is warm. I mean, a top that I wouldn't have been warm enough in the north. Yeah, excited to go walk into the town. Greg, what just happened? I got a job. Just got an email for a job. I got a job. I okay, we did it. So we just got back from walking the dogs. We had a good walk around the town, which is called Algo Algo Donales. Donales. Algo Donales. It's a nice town. It's got a lovely plaza, lots of orange trees, little shops, and obviously the amazing mountain setting eagles or perhaps even vultures flying around the tops of the mountains um, it's quite rural here there's lots of people growing fruits and vegetables and olives pomegranates and quinces we really like it and then we got back and i made craig lunch and craig got an exciting email whilst i was cooking he's been offered a job over the summer which is really good i'll share more about that later on probably not in january but uh, if you want to hear first, I'm definitely going to tell patrons first, like I did last year. Um, so that's, yeah, that's really exciting. Our summer plans now feel more concrete. The next few months are a bit clearer as well, because we've got a start date of when Craig will be starting his job. So this afternoon is a, is a work afternoon. Craig's going to be in the front on some calls and I'm going to be doing my sketches. Um, I get the whole table, which is good. Because I will say lately, over the past few days, the van has just felt so crowded. It's felt like a bit of a struggle most days um, when, we're both, when we both have uh, pressing work to do. And then there's the two dogs that need our attention and somewhere to go. And we're cooking and trying to do everything that we need to do on a daily basis. Um, it has felt quite quite cramped and a bit stressful i think that's what happens when we just add more work to to our lives when we were out in town earlier having coffee i was able to edit and export the next vanuary episode yeah today's daily routine was pretty good wake up get two hours of work in breakfast walk into town coffee vanuary editing and then an afternoon of work hopefully every day won't have quite so much work in it because I would like to do more exercise go walking into the hills and stuff but I kind of want it to rain so that it feels better to be in the van working anyway I better get on with work
we just got in from a walk that we took after getting a decent amount of work done and needing a bit of a break. I'm going to make us some dal as a light evening meal because after we do a bit more work we're going to go out on Spanish time about 9pm go and have a few cervezas cervezas <laughs> cervezas <laughs> you got it, Abby. Is it th is it th all the way through the word? Cerve cervezas. Cervezas. It's really soft. I'm, it's, it's hard to I'm do. I'm uh, self-conscious about my. Th <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go into town for some beers, and uh, in the south, in Andalusia, certainly, when you order food, when you order alcohol, you get given food with it. Um, so we need to say that we're vegan so they don't bring us meat or cheese because that's what they would most commonly bring us to have with our beers so craig's been learning and practicing what to say to explain our vegan status because it's not a very common thing um in the past when we've said we're vegan we get served fish sometimes do you want to say i can try and then if it's wrong and then you have people that watch you then people can yeah say you'd probably just say this instead or mm. If anyone wants to get at me in the comments and give me hate, then bring it on. I'm going to order a drink and just say two beers or whatever. And then say, Sé que no es común por aquí, pero mi, mi esposa y yo somos veganos. Entonces no comemos carne, no comemos pescado, no comemos huevos, no bebemos leches. Entonces, ¿puedes hacer algo de comer um, de veganos? Or something like that. And then they'll make it ensalada con tomate, con panes, y lechuga, pepino blanco. And then we'll probably get a salad come out, which will have fish on it, or an ox cheek or something like that. But but I'm going to try. We're both losers. We're both losers, and we shouldn't really be... We don't deserve <laughs> to be alive. Both really good losers, though, so... We just finished working, and now we're going to head back into town, find a taberna and get a vermouth and soda I, or vermouth and tonico I, we just need to work out what's the best way to drink well you can drink it how you want to drink it and then just order it at the bar yeah i want it in like a tonic yeah a long drink tonico nice, yeah <laughs> after a hard day's work It's not gonna rain tonight. I oh, know it might. Oh shit, it will. Like the we just got back to the van. We just brushed our teeth. Craig's endeavours into explaining our veganism went well, I think. As we were sat out there, a couple came and spoke to us and they asked if we were flying, if we were here to fly. And we were like, what? But apparently this is the paragliding capital of the world or of Europe. So this is a really famous town for people who want to paraglide, which we had no idea about. It's not very evident. And because the weather's been a bit rubbish, no one's actually been doing it. So unless they had came and asked us whether we were here to fly, we wouldn't have known that about this town. They were like, so why are you here then? And we were like, I don't know. <laughs> We just like mountainous towns and we like small places. We're just here for the vibes. Um, and actually we are here because um, there's a famous tree. Craig was like, where, where are we actually heading to in Andalusia? So I did a quick bit of research and I saw that there's this famous oak tree. And I think it's won, it won an award last year. Spain's most majestic tree has been crowned last year in Andalusia. And it's the tree that's near-ish to here el chaparro de la vega but we're probably not going to go see that tree for a little while yet because tomorrow the weather looks really bad but then the weather does look like it gets a lot better over the weekend so we'll probably do some hikes and go see that tree over the weekend i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and i'll see you again tomorrow mm -hmm.